Hi and welcome back to Pappy Tinkers. Today we're going to be doing a repair on one of my little concrete yard decorations that one of the tinker dogs got a little jealous with and broke the face off. Well, no sense in buying a new one when it's all mostly one piece and little things like the nose throw a little putty or something on it or just some more black paint and it'll look fine from a distance. The pieces are all mostly together except for a little bit on the on the edges. Little dabs of some more paint and like I said it'll be good enough to go and don't have to buy a new one again. So let's get started. I started off by putting some tape down on my little work table and we're going to take some five minute epoxy from Harbor Freight and we're going to use this to make the repair. There is an A and a B side and all you have to do is mix them up in equal amounts. So for this repair, well on a brand new tube, you first have to puncture the tube and you squeeze out a nice healthy amount of epoxy, enough that you think should be able to do the job at task the bad thing about this stuff is that since it's both both sides are clear you never really know if you have it mixed up all the way it doesn't turn a certain color so you just have to try to do your best. You can do this on any kind of piece of plastic or wax paper, but I like to do it on masking tape. Just so that when I'm done, all I got to do is lift the tape up, throw it away, and my cleaning surface is, or my uh, uh, little work surface is good as new. This is a five minute epoxy. That means that once you start mixing, you've got about five minutes before it starts getting starts to harden up and dry. So there's not a whole lot of time to daddle, dabble around. What I'm going to do first is put some drops all around these edges. I'm not worried about getting an even coat on everything. Just enough for it to stick. This is not a load bearing thing. It just has to look good sitting on my porch. And then quickly put the face back on in what looks like the rest in the right place. Now what we're going to do is fill, try to fill some of the gaps with this epoxy. If you do one on the right, do a spot on the left just to try to 
even out the strength. And do try not to move it like I just did once you get it set up into position. Now once we get this coat on, I'm going to let it dry for about Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now, so let's see, yep, that part is nice and dry. It looks like it's, feels like it's dry on the, on my little doggy here. So let's go ahead and pull this up. I'm gonna take a look. And there's some healthy size gaps in it. And I think what I wanna do is mix mix up some more epoxy and fill these gaps with it and hopefully the dogs will keep quiet while I do this no promises though Get our tape down. This is B. When you're measuring it out, it doesn't have to be precise. You just have to try to get it similar in size and width to the other side. Looks close enough for me. So let's get to stirring again. So far, none of, them, none of the dogs have admitted to which one attacked this poor boy. I don't know if they were jealous that he had the newspaper. He certainly wasn't stealing their food bowls. Probably just in the, in the ways when they're running after a squirrel, a tree, a leaf, a plastic bag floating down the road. So we're just gonna fill up some of these gaps in the bigger holes in it. Enough to keep the water out, creepy crawlies out. And give it just a little bit more strength. Was it you, Sassy? Loki. Maybe it was Loki. He got that name because he is kind of, he's the runt, so he's also the instigator for a lot of stuff. And of course, the first one to come running back. Oh, Peppy, Peppy, they're biting me. They're being mean to me. Okay. It's 
I might do it one more time for a little gap under here. I don't know if you can see this on camera or not. Just to keep the creepy crawlies away. We'll let this dry up some more and check it again in a few minutes. Let's see if we can zoom in on that little open spot down there. Yeah. Right here is where I'm going to put a little bit of this, this last stuff just to keep creepy crawlies from getting in there. Oh, wrong way. You can tell I'm very professional at all my videos, huh? And let's get some new tape just because it's cheap and it's easier to mix on fresh tape than it is on something that's already sticky and gooey try to stay away from that little mold line right there that looks like it ought to be enough and a little bit more the other side Little dabble, do you? Get some mixing going. Try to stay off of my my cutting board as I'm stirring. <laughs> Well, this is looking pretty good. Feels pretty sturdy too. Certainly going to be good enough for just sitting out in the yard. Let's take a little bit of black paint. Fix that nose real quick. Yeah, I know a paintbrush would have been better, but I'm saving my paintbrush to put some glow-in-the-dark paint on my on the newspaper and in his eye sockets. You know, because it is Halloween and anything that glows in the dark is good for Halloween. Oh, pretty good. Lid back on that. And now we'll have to wait. For the glow in the dark stuff to till tomorrow to see if this stuff actually works. We're gonna put some on the newspaper, put some in his eyes. See, I do have a paintbrush. Just smear that around. Want it up more on the upper edges because that's the only places that the sun's going to shine. 